getting uh, very dangerous for ACT now. So uh, first blood in third round goes to Victoria as they lead nine frames to four. Colby Over has on the a other chance table, to put out looking like it could be 10 4. With hasn't got an easy shot, but um, she certainly got a shot. So she pots this ball, she should <coughs> get up on her other one. Yeah. Bit of an angle, you got to watch the red, you got to watch the in off yeah, in the It's all about pocket. pace. Uh, that red is quite, yeah, quite. We're all very much oh, she's a, oh, she on the yellow. Yes, oh, there yeah. you go. She's on the yellow this day. Sorry. It was a good shot. Could have, a lot of things could have gone wrong with that shot. Yeah, it's a bit of luck involved. I don't necessarily uh, know whether she played it real well, but uh, nevertheless, she was always she has probably found herself into the red, pretty much sorry. on this yellow. It's all about pace on this shot. It looks a severe cut, but she'll just roll it in just and the black over the corner bag, I really can't see her missing it. Yeah, a good shot by Colby. Uh, Nicely controlled. Didn't roll it in, played it with some confidence. That's right. And has uh, given herself quite a easy shot on the eight to take Victoria to 10-4 lead. And uh, another win there to Victoria, puts them 10-4 up. And looking like they are, uh, they are starting to run away with this match. Uh, as probably expected, but... Uh, That's what I said once. When they got their noses in front and, and they were 6-4 and then they went to the 8-4 lead. Yeah, it's, it's critical then. It, just, it can just give them, it just give you so much confidence to know that you have that four game buffer and you can you can start playing with some confidence and you know the nerves maybe start to ease off a little bit because your team's leading and of course then also the nerves get bigger for your, your opponents because yeah. they're, they're training. been in both situations plenty of times and I don't know which one I'd choose. <coughs> it's much more enjoyable being in the team that's leading the match. We've got the captain's game on this table at the moment. And two captains are battling it out. It's a long way back from here for ACT. Victoria only have to win three frames. ACT still need nine. It's not impossible. Very, very tough ask for any team, let alone one that's in their very first final. Tanya's uh, got a chance to clear this frame. 
Pretty sure that the red that's in between the on, yellow and the black is on into the corner pocket. Good shot, on, nicely controlled. The only real difficulty on, is uh, making the decision as to which ball you take first. On, I think you, you're on the one that's on the back row, you need to take that first. You can get up on the one reasonably straight into the centre. Take the other one into the that's near the yellow into the other centre. Possibly just screw back, be in the black in the corner. Not sure if she has the right angle. It looks like um, she's a little off from here. She had the wrong angle and had to try and um, screw around the balls, but... Oh, Les tried to um, kick her red out there from the yellow. Would have been a great shot if she had have achieved it. Come on, Nicole. Come on, I think now she's just going to try and cut the red over and block Margie's yellow into the corner. Come on, Les. Nicole over against Tanya needs to be looking for a sneaker, I think. Come on, Nick. Now that she's spotted both of those, it'll end it on there. She's got a chance to break those two yellows up. Maybe she'll attempt to pot out. to tie Margie up a little, pot the red over the pocket and then put the other red in front of the two yellows. Yeah. Nicole just got very lucky against Tanya. She tried to take a big long yellow on and uh, missed it by quite a way and kicked, kicked the red to where she could get a snooker and it was a very lucky shot. Come on, Les! Yeah. 
Good shot by Les too. I think she's going to take. She's taking me out on. Come on, Les. Put, you can put the red that's near the yellow into the centre pocket. Come on, Les. And she'll be on the ball that's over the pocket as well. And it's just a matter of coming back down the table for the black. Or maybe she couldn't pot the ball from where I was. It looked like she could. But, um, maybe she couldn't. She played a good shot. Bounced the red so that it is on for next time. And uh, Margie's still got the safe yellow behind the red and another couple of yellows on the rail. ACT have got a very good chance with Nicole to pull one frame back. They, need, they definitely need to win at least this round, at least four two to give themselves a good shot in the last the last round. But if they can win at five one or six nil, it would be even better for them. But the best they can do is 4-2s, they've lost the first two frames. And if, they could win this, if they win this round 4-2, means they've got to win the last round 4-2 to force a tie. The first to 13 frames will win the match. Once again, if it is 12 all, they will play a round of five. First to three would win the championship. I think in all the years that the women's has been running that it's maybe only ever once been 12 all. Has been in the men's before. It's been 16 all and they've played the, um, a round of seven. <coughs> so, um, Nicole's uh, snookered herself. Not sure if she still has two shots. Good shot there by Liz to get out of the snooker that Marg left her, but um, unfortunately she's gone enough in the middle pocket. Let's give her Marg ball in hand. So I'm behind the ball plan and giving her a good chance to remove the yellow that's behind the red first shot. No, she's not gonna not gonna play that. Nicole's got the two shots. Tanya's left her right behind the ball. It's a little awkward. And there is a lot, a lot of pressure out there. One shot. Mm. Taken on a double. She's got it and left herself fairly easy on her second last ball. She's got to screw back a little bit to land on her last ball. Nicole's played a good shot there to um, give herself a fairly easy shot on the yellow. Bounce the bounce the wide up off of the bottom rail and. I'm not sure on the end. Oh. Tried to screw the white and uh, and jumped it there. But still managed to pot the ball. A tough shot on the eight, but if she misses, she's got the, the um, beauty that she's not actually going to leave a shot on the red for Tanya. 
Margie played a nice shot down the rail on the um, on her ball to land on the black in the centre pocket. And great shot there by Nicole to take the frame. Still a long way to come back for ACT. Shot by Margie. 11 5. No, Victoria need one more for a draw at worst result and two for the win. Okay, so we've got Julie playing Penny, and Tracy and Michelle. So Julie is looking at playing a combination to put this, the yellow ball that's behind the red, which would be a great shot because then all of the yellow balls are on. Very good shot there. Yellow balls were the best, but that's, that yellow was slightly tied up by the red, so played a great shot to take it first. Yeah. 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 Pretty good opportunity to, to run out. Oh, first shot is tough. Girl does have an opportunity here. Red balls are all on. So we all know it's not as easy as it looks. It's always easy from back here. Nice first shot. Nice confident first shot. Under the pressure that she is, must be feeling out there. Shot well, Jules there. Not sure if she wanted to pot it. She was more leave it over the pocket, but she's got one ball that's a little awkward. It's the one that's in the right, closest to the black. But it is on. And she does have um, balls, the other yellow there that she could possibly screw into the black and make the yellow on as well.
Come on, Shelly. Shelly. Yellows on the table between Tracy and Michelle look to be the better balls at the moment. It's really only the black that's in trouble. Maybe the yellow is a little hard to see from the computer here whether it goes to the corner pocket. She might just play the yellow that's near the bottom rail and try and put that over the pocket and get a little bit of control. Julie's still in the box seat in her game with the yellows. Come on, Shirley! Come on, Shirley! Come on, Penny! Not as much over the pocket as she would have liked, but it's a good leave with the white ball. It hasn't left Penny with an easy shot. It's a good shot there by Michelle. Doubled the yellow back towards the corner pocket. The black ball is still in trouble. Julie's just slowly promoting all her balls. Once you've got control and you, you just try and promote your, all your balls, make the um, put the pressure on your opponent and then make the pot out easier for yourself. Tracy's managed to cover Michelle's yellow. Come on, Benny. Just needs to bounce the yellow off the side cushion, perhaps, and leave the white on the bottom rail. Come on, Here. Red looks like it will pass down and go um, to the pocket where the yellow is a few inches up the rail. Go on, Great shot, Benny. Oh, great shot. Very good shot. Another good shot by ACT there, getting their ball over the pocket. I think there may be a gap underneath. One good thing in Tracy's favour is that the uh, black is covered by those three Red Bulls. That was a very gutsy shot to give her two from there. If she um, pots this, she pots this red in her centre pocket. She um, she keeps her two shots on the black. It will come down to the first pot in the centre pocket. Come on, Shirley! Come on, Shirley! Come on, Shirley! Come on, Shirley! That's a nice shot. Yep. Now play the combination. One right onto the other. Come on, Penny. 
electric will be getting the black out of where it is and into the middle of the table. Yeah, that's that's the she doesn't make sure she's she can hit the black because she's got two we'll have two shots on it. That's a good shot. There's a gap inside the yellow where the black's going, but um come on, come on, Penny, come on. Take a delicate shot to get in there, not bump the yellow to the side and use your second second visit spot it. Come on, Come on, Penny. Come on, 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 Come Get it inside this one, I think. Where she's straight on. Right. She Come on, Betty! She decided uh, not to. Come on, Betty! It does go in the corner pocket that it's closest to. Squeeze it off the. I think it does from here. Squeeze it off the jaw, off the back of the yellow. But when you're cutting it back like that and you can't see from a. Cutting it back into a blind pocket is a very hard shot. It was a very good effort. Good effort. Now, Julie does have the opportunity to pot out and take Victoria to within one frame of this Australian Championship. She's opted to, to give her a shot on the black. Maybe this is one of those tables or around the world where it stops. Nobody knows. She hasn't really got much other option than to fluke it. Very surprised Julie didn't attempt to put out there. She has given uh, Penny a chance to fleek this black. Sometimes in these situations, you just got to hit it and hope. Maybe there was a gap there. Can't, couldn't see from where I was, but. Couldn't have been much of a gap. And I think I would have. I think I would have given it a fly around the table and seen what happened, because she's just she's put it in a um, she's just put herself in a losing situation, unfortunately. Tracy, I think, has got two shots on the, on her game. The yellow is half coming in the pocket. That was a great first, great shot there. Nice long pot on the red. Julie's got um, basically two combinations she needs to play. Or she could cut this one into the centre. No, we're going up the top. Missed, on, the, missed the ball, but uh, unfortunately for Penny, when she tried to um, play the black inside the yellow, she's left it in an awkward spot. There is a small gap inside the yellow but um, I don't think it's enough for the black to pop. Oh jeez. That was a very good shot. She has now created a gap for the black. The black is definitely on now. And now Julie is really under pressure now. 
to um, pull something out here, but she's got to take her ball over the pocket first. Would have been tempted to take the ball where the black is. And I would have been tempted to take the black, well, the yellow next to the black in the corner. And then played the combination up into the opposite corner pocket. There's a good tactical battle going on between Tracy and Michelle. Tracy still has the black tied up. Only two of the yellows there now, but it's still not on. Nice shot there by Julie. Michelle, I think, attempted to move the black. Come on, Would have could have been a winning shot if she had succeeded. Come on, Julie. Come on, mate. She's still, still looking not too bad with her yellow in the pocket in front of the red. And Julie's got a two-ball combination. That's a great shot. It was a very good touch shot. Perhaps a tad lucky that it didn't fall in the pocket, because if it had of, she had a very tough shot next. Come on, Penny. Here's a pressure shot. If you ever saw one, by Jules. I reckon she. I reckon the gentleman that's sitting next to me should pick up the microphone, and then we could hear what he was saying. Because I can hear what he's saying, but <laughs> you at home can't. And this is a tough shot. This is a middle pocket. And oh, very close. Fraction harder, and fraction harder, and she would have dropped it, but has left Penny right on the black here for Victoria to have picked up two frames in a row. Um, ACT to pick up two frames in a row. Come on, ACT. 